Hi, it's Josh from Apt at CS 2015 with Kevin at Kenwood, and we've got a new multimedia receiver with navigation. Absolutely. Let's see, it looks good. Yeah, so this is our new DNX 892. It has built-in navigation. All of our navigation is partnered up with Garmin. So if you take a look at it, it is your, uh, your Garmin layout on there. One of the new things for 2015 is we also partnered up with Inrex for nav traffic. One of the cool things about Inrex for nav traffic is it updates about every 10 minutes compared to other nav traffic capabilities nice. that update every couple hours. So it's actually real-time nav traffic on there. Some other features that they do offer on here, if we go into our app section, is, um, and of course it's not showing up right now, um, some of the other things that they offer with Intrex is having parking capabilities. So you're driving downtown to the ball game, a little P will come up, you hit that P and it will actually tell you where parking's available oh, and nice. how much it costs. That's cool. The other cool things with Inrex nav traffic is you can actually see photo live cameras of Department of Transportation's <laughs> on the freeways. So you can see what the traffic's like real time before you even leave the house. Now to make all these, these uh, navigational features work, do I need to have some kind of service program? So with Kenwood, it's two years free, and then after that, we'll subsidize $10 off of any additional subscription. So okay. it is free for your initial first two years, and it works with both Android and Apple, so right. you would download an application, and once you're connected via Bluetooth, it just automatically works. You don't have to worry about uh, doing anything else. All right, and besides uh, those options, are there some other new features here? Absolutely, so besides those options there, you can take a look at the use, user interface on this big icons, easy to touch. Some of the things that we have on there is backup uh, parking lines. So when you're in reverse, it'll actually give you the parking lines as you're backing up. You don't need to have a special camera for that to work. <laughs> One of the other cool things are some new features with ADS. So if you guys are connecting this with a Maestro RR into the vehicle, it'll give you a lot of these OEM features from Ford, Chevy, GMs um, that are available out there. Um, Cool things with this is, you take a look at it, um, we really introduced it for uh, OnStar, Ford Sync, and the nice thing is, is the installer has one module, he programs it on a computer, and he programs it for whatever vehicle he's putting it in, and then they have their plug and play harnesses. Nice. With that, it can give you gauges from the vehicle, because you tap into the OBD2 port with this. So you can take a look at the gauges, it'll actually give you two different pages, so you can have up to 14 gauges being displayed on the screen whenever you, uh, whenever you want there. Some of the other things that are available on here, climate control, so like newer Mustangs, the climate controls are all built into the head unit from like 2010, 2012 on up. Now we're able to utilize the climate controls from the head unit and it gives it a much cleaner installation in that vehicle. Some other things we have on there, um, satellite radio, if the car has, if it's a GM vehicle and yeah. it has an external sat tuner, it'll actually utilize that factory sat tuner in the vehicle. All they have to do is plug it right into the module from the back of the radio and it makes it nice and easy. Media, the media on there is actually utilizing either Ford Sync media or OnStar or even some of the Volkswagen media capabilities um, that are out there. Vehicle info, say, say you're driving down the road, you get a flat tire, this screen will actually populate for you and show you your tire pressures, check engine lights, it'll even oh, let you clear man. a check engine light if you accidentally uh, trip one there. But it, it would tell me why. First. It will tell you why, <laughs> absolutely, it will tell you why. And then if we come back out, last but not least, one of the cool things with this, uh, with this piece is the uh, the integration portion of it. It gives you steering wheel control module is built into it. You can do dual functionality for every single uh, steering wheel control button on there. So you have a press and a press and hold, and it's easy to connect to uh, to your Kenwood awesome. uh, piece. All right. Well, uh, as far as like um, like how do I know if I, if I'm someone looking for something like this and I want to know will it work in my car? You know, besides consulting with guys like Apt Electronics that has a department for it. Uh, do you guys have any resources, or how do you know if it's compatible? Yeah, you can go on to ADS's website and check to see if their uh, if their integration is compatible right. with your car.
Very cool. One of the really cool things I forgot to mention is, is Kenwood exclusive to is we actually display turn by turn directions in the secondary monitors. So you have like a newer Volkswagen or a newer Ford vehicle that has a secondary monitor in there. Previously, they would just be a blank dead screen in the car. Oh. Now we're actually able to give you information into those monitors and the really cool one is the turn by turn direction. So you're driving a newer Passat down the street and you have to make a left hand turn. It'll actually give you an arrow in that uh, nice. in that center console display and be able to do that for you. All so right. it's pretty Sounds cool. Sounds great. Coming out soon? Absolutely. These will be out in February. All right. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. All right, guys. We got some more coverage at CES 2015. Check us out at app.com.